Eve and gentlemen, give her all your welcome to your host, Steven Slater. Hello, America. Glad to see you made it in the studio. Nice and safe. The weather is pretty crazy out there, so there might be some thunder around, which is perfect today's show. We're starting off with spooky material, ladies and gentlemen. This segment is called Creep and Convene, where I, Stephen Slato Draymark, invited some special guests to help shed the light on mysteries, urban legends and awesome famous whores we come to know. Before we begin, we have a special guest here with us over the phone. He is a YouTuber by the name Lord of Flames, and he's here to give a shout out to all of you fans of Minecraft movies. Well, thank you, Steve, my famous boy. Yes, thank you for saying nice things of me and to your fans as well. And yeah, you all can watch all of my Minecraft movies I've been making for all these years since I was 13. And me and the others are making another that you all waited to see that is called Slenderman, the Minecraft movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Brendan. We got the new ghost fools right now. You don't want to be late, you know? Oh, sure thing, brother. Well, that's all I'm going to say to you, Steve, and the other fans. And I hope you all ready to see the Slenderman movie. Anytime, Lord of Flames. Alright, folks, let's get started. Let's get into it, then. On October 16 in Herbin Street, there was a lot of damage since there was a big battle that some people that was left alive back there. That they say there are a lot of zombies around and there was a big black creature for whatever reason. And that's so spooky, I guess. And it had been months later since they rebuilt that street for a long time. And they buried Fastbird's Fright, the horror attraction. Since that was burned to the ground, but bring it back up. But got been destroyed again for that big explosion. Reliable sources from included person named Fred Caton. He was dead for all those years ago, but a man named Mike Smith. He told about him, and he know that Fred was spring trained up the animatronic this whole time. And Fred was burned to the ground and never heard from again. Or did it? Some people say they saw a figure around their home that they saw that would give them nightmares. But they were killed by him. But one of them was still alive from his attack. His name is David Neer. He was a YouTuber too, and he made voices of any characters. And he first thought it was Fred Caton, known as Springtrap. We will speak him over a phone right now. Welcome to the show, David Neer. I'm Steve Slater, and you are live now. Oh, yeah. Hello, Steve Slater. Yes, hello to you, too. And you said that you saw that was Fred Caton, right? Yes, it was him. Um, let me story it happened. Um, I turn around, and I jump out of my chair. But what I saw was... Two eyes, but not with colors, but with black and white. And I could see a decayed teeth of a smile, but it was trying to smile. And then he run at me, and he hold the knife. He stabbed at me, but at my chest, like at two times. And he throw me at my bed, and he just leave me to bleed. 
And he said something. A simple phrase. He said... Night, night. Oh, um, sorry about that, folks. That would, was, could be the storm causing electricity and issues with the call. And, uh, you have anything to say here, David? Um, David? Oh, that was a spook, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, a spook. And, uh, hmm. And I hope you will have a spooky night, David. But the show had to keep going on. And see ya. And our next guest is on now for the show. But not over a phone, though. But you may know him. He's another YouTuber by the name Mr. Beatty Kruger. And he made a lot of horror movies. Well, he made a lot of horror videos. Just like as horror film. And everybody's favorite, Jeffrey Keaton audio dramas. And he became an English teacher, and he was Fred's teacher back then. And all right, Patrick, come on out. Yes, sir. Now, Mr. Ferguson, but I am still a teacher. But I just teaching my students of doing essays of any stories and uh yeah. Right, Mr. Ferguson. Can you tell me about Fred Caton? Speak about him perhaps. Indeed. I'd call him to come to my classroom for a detention because he'd been hurting all the other students. I know and he always say night night for some reason. But he wants to be as Jeffrey Keaton or something else. But it's been an hour since everything is silent. And then he walked in. Can you describe on the appearance for what he looked like? Red shirt, blue jeans, black sweatshirt, and his hair dyed to purple. Because that was his favorite color. And his face was just blank, like us, that he wasn't happy, mad, or sad. He just sitting there with silence. It's like he has no soul with him at all. But for what I see is, that will chill me from my spine. That it was his size. It was never normal. Like all the other humans, you could tell he was familiar with angry, fear, and uh, even death. It hurt him. His soul was ripped away. Oh, um, I'm sorry, Mr. Ferguson. It appears we're having a call from my workers without my permission. Uh, okay. Uh, welcome to the show, Carl Myth. You're live right now. Uh, coming again? It's the nightmare! This is what I brought you, this you can keep. This is what I brought you, mate. My heart just promised to sing.